The public prosecutor announces to this tribunal that the prisoner, Charles St. Evremond, called Darnay, has been denounced. <laughs> he has been denounced by three voices. They are Ernest Defarge, <laughs> Therese Defarge. <laughs> well, who is the third voice? Alexander Manette. Quiet! I will have quiet in the chamber. Monsieur le President, what the public prosecutor has stated is impossible. I have never denounced the prisoner. Never! I call upon Madame Defarge to speak to this tribunal. to you. I have in my hands a diary in the handwriting of our good Dr. Manette. He wrote this diary from the moment he was put into prison. And do you know why he was imprisoned? For trying to save the life of a dying woman. Yes, a woman who had been abused by Monseigneur Philippe saint Evremont, uncle of the prisoner. This woman died from the injuries she received at the hand of St. Evremond. The good doctor could not save her. But for reporting her death to the authorities, and for that alone, he was thrown into prison by St. Evremond. Thrown into prison to rot, Monsieur. Death! Listen to me! The words of Dr. Manette. And so to the Evremans and their descendants, to the last of their race. I, Alexander Manette, do this last night of the year 1761 in my unbearable agony, denounce the Evremans. I denounce the house of Evremond to heaven and to hell. Ah! Save him now, good doctor. Save him now. I call for the verdict. Monsieur le President, please. <laughs> Quiet. Let's have the verdict. Guilty. 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 Charles and Evremond, enemy of the Republic, death. Death within 24 hours. Yeah.